we have seen banks that have us already implemented that are trying to roll out new reporting frameworks or report on additional data. It's a matter of days, not months, that they can get this rolled out. And that's really encouraging for our risk leaders who realize that this is ever-changing and they need a platform that can be dynamic as the world is dynamic as well. ESG has exploded into compliance and business consciousness in 2021. Join Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, on the ESG Report and learn about sustainability risks, opportunities, and issues that business leaders and compliance professionals need to know about regarding ESG. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox back for another episode today. I'm thrilled to have fellow Texan with me, Will Robinson. And to demonstrate that, as I tell everyone, these podcasts are really just a virtual cup of coffee with Tom. We both have our coffee. So, Will, with that introduction, first of all, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. Yeah, thank you, Tom. I really appreciate the opportunity. Nice to meet you. Could you tell us a little bit about your professional background? Sure thing. I like to tell people that I'm a recovering investment banker. I studied finance and economics in college and moved to New York to live the Wall Street life. And I did that for several years and worked in I worked for a big investment bank and a big private equity firm. But being an entrepreneur has always been my calling. And I got the opportunity to work with software companies when I lived up there. And hey, this would be a great career for me. And so for the past 10 years or so, I've been involved in several different software and technology companies focused on machine learning and automation. Really excited to be here. I've been with my current company in Capture about three years as CEO, and it's been a really fun ride. So could you tell us a little bit about Encapture, your products and services, and who some of your clients or customers are? Absolutely. Encapture play is a software company that plays in a little corner of the market we call Intelligent Document Processing, or IDP. And we make it really easy for organizations to collect incoming documents as part of a business process. And our machine learning can read the documents, understand what type of document that it's looking at, and then the system can automatically extract data out of those documents and use that data for a variety of purposes. We can put the data in another system so that people don't have to manually enter data. We can compare the data across multiple documents so people aren't doing the old-fashioned stare and compare. We can automate a bunch of reporting on the compliance front. So really, any business process that has a lot of manual, I'll call it paperwork handling, even though it doesn't have to be physical paper. I would say banks are at this point probably more reactive than proactive in terms of ESG, but The good news is that it's mostly incremental. And if you have good process and good technology in place, I realize this is a plug for us, but we have seen banks that have us already implemented that are trying to roll out new reporting frameworks or report on additional data. It's a matter of days, not months, that they can get this rolled out. And that's really encouraging for our risk leaders who realize that this is ever-changing and they need a platform that can be dynamic as the world is dynamic as well. So let me pick up on one point you raised, which I thought was incredibly prescient, which is ESG in many ways is an incremental change. It's not a wholesale change. When I used to go sit in front of a company that did not have an anti-corruption compliance program, I would start off with, you are doing 90 to 95% of everything you're required to do under an anti-corruption law, such as U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act already. You just don't call it that. And you're not looking at it that way. And I would always give the example of, do you reimburse employees for travel? Answer, yes. Do you require them to fill out a form? Answer, yes. Is that form reviewed by the supervisor and then re-reviewed by accounts payable or finance? Answer, yes. Now, do they fill that form out completely? I said, okay, the only additional piece of information you need is the business title of the person you're going to see. And they went, oh, that's it? And it struck me that in your remarks around ESG, in many ways, banks already have this information. It's siloed in a different way, or it's not being reviewed upstream yet. Now, with the new requirements, both from the regulatory side and from the consumer or customer side of lending money, banks can utilize the information through the in-capture tool. And don't worry about plugging your product. I absolutely want you to plug your product because with taking data integrity and data governance, to calling it or looking at it from an ESG perspective. It's important. And I think that there's also a fear right now because a lot of this data has been, I'll call it collected 
in the sense that it's probably buried in a document somewhere, but it's not readily available. There's a lot of fear of how am I going to get to this data? I have hundreds of thousands of loans or loan applications that I have data on and I have the paperwork and it's sitting somewhere in a content repository, either digitally or there are still banks. It's sitting in bankers boxes in the file cabinet somewhere. And now my regulator is asking me to report on this or my shareholders are asking me to report on this. And other than going out and trying to hire 25 people to come and just manually swarm these legacy documents, I don't know how else to get at this data. I know I have it. It's sitting right here. That's a fun part of machine learning is saying, hey, it's almost like we're sending up one employee that can do the work of 20 or 25. With this being with cloud computing these days as well, we can scale the processing power of that system almost infinitely. So if you're saying, hey, I have a very short window to get this data processed, get this data out of these documents, and I need to turn that around very quickly, we can scale the processing of that almost infinitely. That's one thing that's really exciting here that I think should really empower our chief risk officers or heads of compliance that are saying, I feel like I'm always just on my back foot trying to respond and I'm getting punched in the dark. I don't even know where the next punch is being thrown from. And we can say, hey, look, if you get a platform I can capture in, it's not like poof, wave a magic wand and it all works overnight, but you now have a very powerful tool at your disposal that can help you be a lot more nimble and respond a lot more quickly to do some of these. We are near the end of our time for this episode, but I was wondering uh, before we leave, if our listeners wanted any more information on yourself and capture or really any of the topics that we touched upon today, what would be the best place for them to go or the best way for them to find out? Come to our website. It's encapture.com. That's encapture.com. You can come find me on LinkedIn as well. And we love talking to folks about this. That's part of our process. We're not here to, in fact, this is one way we run our business. We're not here to just ram software down your throat. We actually help you build a business case for our software. And our thought is we can't prove to you that there's really strong ROI in purchasing this system, then you shouldn't purchase it. And that's the journey that we go on. So we love conversations. We love hearing really hard, difficult problems. We work with some of the biggest lenders in the world and certainly in the country. And we work with some really small lenders too. And so we've got a breadth of experience around best practices, around benchmarking data, around how other folks do things that we like to share because we feel like everybody's better served if we can solve this compliance issue and solve it efficiently. So happy to visit. And Tom, really appreciate the time today. It was great getting to visit with you.